Hey, if you are a school, a staff member uh, working in a school who does the daily bulletin, I have it on good authority that sometimes it takes up to an hour from email sources to put together a bulletin. Now, there may be other methods that are quicker. Uh, in developing this system, I created a form that worked uh, to feed a system. I still had to copy and paste from this into a page to make it work properly. Now, I was sure there was a better way, so I started developing this app, which is now called School Announcements Easy. So School Announcements Easy works from a sidebar, and the sidebar includes Create Bulletin, Clear Entries, Trash Sheets, Setup, and Help. Now, Setup is pretty easy. All you have to do is start here. You're going to download the form here, actually create the form, get your own copy of it from, uh, from, from Google. You're going to give it a title, and this title populates the info page. So the info page shows us just simply the name of the school, daily, school name, Daily Bolton. So, for example, using this system, you might change this to uh, something else, like let's say your school is, I'm making this up here, Mike Monroe. high school, I can type, and you can change that anytime you like. So let's go back to the main menu and see what happens with that piece of information. So assuming we have a bunch of content, and we should probably take a look at the form that creates all this content, but uh, we'll look at the form in a minute, but the, the, the thing that makes it work awesome is uh, Create Bulletins. So the Create Bulletins tab allows us to choose a date, and I'm going to choose a previous date because I know I've got some content back here from April. So I'm April 25th, and there are options to choose the quote of the day, birthdays, uh, which is, by the way, from our birthday sheet here. And I just put a bunch of bad information here so that uh, no student's uh, identities would be revealed. And blank lines after the section headings, and I leave these out because it uses up a lot of page space, but I don't want each school to have their choice on that. So what I do use is blank lines between the items. So then you click Create, and you'll watch how quickly this item gets created one piece at a time and all the items get added into your bulletin it doesn't do any spell checking but it adds all the pieces in that make your bulletin happen so other things that this does well is if we close this and we look back to the main menu and we want to clear entries what clear entries does is it finds old bulletin items so in this response system it would be kind of a chore to delete old items uh, one at a time and to find them and identify them. You could do some things manually using data, short sheet by, by a certain column, and you'd be able to identify which ones are outdated and which ones are more current. So if you choose a date in this system, let's say you want to delete everything before, uh, let's just choose a later date so we can watch it happen, April 30th, and clear old, now it's going to remove, and it's going to tell us exactly how many it removes. So it does double check with us a few times to make sure we have the right date, and at the end, it will tell us how many were removed. So that's uh, really a lot faster than any other system you might create. And this is based on a few hours of programming, um, actually a bunch of hours of programming that, that make it work. Now, there's one more function that I want to show you that uh, does for us. And this uh, Trash Sheets page finds any old Bolton sheets. So the one Bolton we have in here right now is 425, but you may stack up a whole week's worth um, in this system. So if you have a whole week's worth of Boltons, and you don't want to have to do the little right clicking. This actually is a left click, but there's the menu, and you could delete them that way. But this one allows us to remove anything before a certain date. So if we pick this date, that one is date 425, today is 53. And we click trash, and we do this. And imagine if you had a whole bunch of different bulletins that were uh, ready to be deleted, it would just remove them in seconds. So overall, this thing could save you anywhere from a half hour to an hour and a half a day. Uh, in managing your bulletins, and uh, it is available on um, Google Add-ons uh, through Sheets in just a few days. So uh, it'll be it should be up by um, by May 7th. Uh, at this time, it's free and it's an add-on for use for schools. And we hope it gives you uh, a little more time to do other work in your day. Thanks for checking it out.